Hutton, the other middle. Number five, Melanie Wade was on the floor. It's very important for hitters to be aware when the Libro is not on the floor because you can dink and tip and roll more easily against that weaker defender. And Kiso serve Washington. Have a second chance here. Munoz to Cook. Hannah Worth. Good job by Munoz to roof that. Point Husky. Point the bra or point uh, UW. Hey, Washington lineup. Yeah, some pretty poorly located sets in that rally from both setters scrambling, putting the ball too close to the net, right into the hands of blockers. Thank you, so to Cook, back to Brookhuis. Terrific balance tonight for the Huskers. Brookites has four, Mancuso, Worth, and Haggerty all with five each. And not only balance, but speed. Did you see how fast that set went out to the sideline to the left shoulder of Brookites? Hard to block. On the overpass, Haggerty able to keep it alive. She sure was. Good play by Haggerty to stay ready and keep that ball in the air. Five now for Van Sand, who's hitting under 200 on the night. Krista back to serve. Their top recruit in the nation coming out of high school. Was the Pac-12 freshman of the year last season. Nice pass by Mancuso. Work. Through the block. It starts with the pass. Mancuso puts it right on the money. And Gill, the opposing middle blocker for Washington, is just late. The, the, the speed of the offense is creating lots of opportunities for somebody like Hannah Worth, and she's crushing the ball. Nelson, point Washington. Gill by Kaylee Nelson, point Washington. In for the Huskies, Nelson answers again with speed behind the setter. They'll take Brookheis out, get Paige Hubble back in for Nebraska. General Orlandini to serve. Cook to work. Bumped outside, Nebraska keeps it up. Back row, Mancuso. Long. It is long, point Husky. Washington pulling back again as they did before. Down, down only three. John Cook wants to stop the bleeding. 16 to 13 after the Huskers took the opening set. All eight of the regional semifinals going on tonight. Penn State has already won the top seed, advancing as they eliminate Kentucky and Minnesota. Coming back to win the second set, so they are even with Purdue to the third set in West Lafayette. USC and Oregon, other winners tonight, but uh, Nebraska out blocking the best blocking team in the country thus far. They sure are, and when you serve well, you create lots of scoring opportunities because the other team can't fool you as much, can't beat you with as much speed. And then when you get your hands across the net, instead of just high and above, good things happen. Four Husker blocks, three Husky blocks. The hitting percentage for Washington just 107. And the serving has let them down. One ace and a handful of errors and for Nebraska, the four aces. But in this set, Washington now hitting 250, Nebraska just 200. Nebraska has cooled off. That's one of the reasons why Coach Cook wanted to call timeout, get his offense back in sync, back in order. A lot of people would think, well, the, the advantage in volleyball is with the serving team. It is with tennis. It is with lots of sports, but it actually is not in volleyball. You score far more points when you receive serve than when you serve. And so Nebraska has the advantage here if they can contact this, make this first pass just like that, putting it on the money, and they score. Starts with Mancusa's ball control. The pass.
to Cook and the finish for Haggerty. Garris to Nelson, good D from Worth. To Hannah again. Mancuso trying to drop it in the back and does. These outside hitters are returning the favors. That time it was Hannah Worth coming up with the two digs before it was Mancuso with the first contact. And then Mancuso finishes the play with that rainbow shot to the corner that Washington just let flutter down. Haggerty with the set to Mancuso. Covered by Nagaris. More D in the back from Hannah Worth. Another play in the backcourt for Hannah Worth. She's putting herself in good spots. The ball is hitting her a lot, and then Mancuso again finishing. They're taking turns. Whoever's in the front court is the finisher. Whoever's in the backcourt is the one making that first contact. And again, now it's back up to the largest lead of the set. Worth back there once more. Mancuso into the net. The, that pair of outsides is doing a fantastic job so far. I don't know if they go on to win, but so far the, the touches they're making on the first contact, Lauren Cook is always making it on the second, and then the swings that they're taking. Katie Beals to serve. And the stuff for UW. There's the fourth block of the match for them. What a nice blocking move by Gabby Parker there to get lined up. She put herself in a great spot to slot, stop that slide, that wide one. Mancuso missed it wide, and here comes Washington again within three. Three times now they've clawed their way back. That one stuck block gets in other hitters' heads, and you could see Mancuso trying to avoid the block on that play and making the hitting error just because of the stuff on the previous play. Mancuso rejected by Munoz. Timeout, Nebraska. This time, Mancuso tries to go line more right into the left hand of number 24, Kylan Munoz. What a nice move by her. There was space to hit at, but Mancuso didn't hit it. Hit it right into the end blocker. Four unanswered for Washington, and they are right back in it. Trying to even up the match. One of the things Nebraska know, uh, or Washington knows, they've come back from far worse than that, so they keep pouring their way back. We are here in Omaha, one of the four regional sites how about in austin where usc swept wichita state so the cinderella story has come to an end for the shockers and texas and florida now getting underway the three seed and the 14 seed and the gators with the lead midway through the opening set One of the great venues and one of the great fan bases in all of college athletics. And the Sea of Red out to support the Huskers once again. We talked about Washington's deficiencies defensively at the net, which has been out of character for them. And boy, have they changed things around here in the second set with four blocks to none for Nebraska. And a few of those one-on-one, -on -one, they're they don't just have good blocking in the middle with NCAA leading Amanda Gill, but they have good end blockers, like the block we saw from Kylan Munoz, and before that, of course, from Gabby Parker on the other sideline. Nebraska does not have their opposite, Morgan Brookhuis, in, so they're really trying to beat this team two on three. One hitter, Mancuso, here gets. Oh, that just slipped through. Well, I like Nebraska going to Mancuso right away out of the timeout. Her eighth kill of the match. Out. Ooh, looked out to me. 
Alandini decided to play it. Munoz can't put it away. 13 digs now in the match for Hannah Worth, and most of them leading the points like that. Well, it's outside hitter to Cook to outside hitter. It doesn't matter who's in the back, but Worth coming up with another dig, and Mancuso showing her volleyball IQ, her smarts. She saw something open down the line, tipped a deep point. Man, excuse me, Worth down again. Kept alive by Washington. Munoz! Finesses that one over, and it's a three-point lead. And Strickland's been having trouble getting her serve going, but if she can hit one hard and in, she's capable of serving for streaks of points. That one she controlled more, kept it in. Cook's back set. And the kill for Haley Tramer. And now Nebraska gets back to a stronger offensive set with Morgan Brookheis back in the front court and Lauren Cook at the service line in the back. Folks serve from Cook. Munoz had to tip it. Popped up by the lead bro. Dykstra with the pass. Brookheis. Got it. Boy, what a nice play in, or two plays by Laura Dykstra with the pancake on the first play. And then she made another dig later that leads to the swing for Morgan Brookheis. Different Huskers. First, they were really good with their blocking. Now they're really good with their backcourt defense, creating lots of scoring opportunities. Missed it long point, Nebraska. And it's set point for the Huskers. Keeps him alive. Six kills now for Krista. Another set point. Cook to Mancuso. Stuffed. Point you up. Oh, what a nice pass. Covered by Washington. Van Sant tried to tip Mancuso, shoves it back. Munoz. Worth. Cook. Stuffed again by UW. They save three set points in a row. Nebraska's in a strange or not their favorite rotation here because they have a left-hander, Brookheis, out here on the left. She's much better hitting on the other side. They don't have a lot of great options offensively here. Back, oh, they go to Brookheis. Brookheis swings with the left to the block, and it's 2-0, nothing. Nebraska. Brookheis.